I just found a complete hidden gem of a store that I didn't even know was in my own town. This comic store that I went to had a huge variety of manga that I don't normally see because they have ex-library books and they have some older series like old shoujo beats, Tokyo Pop. It was amazing. I did spend a good amount of time browsing around and I definitely need to go back, especially since we're still doing this manga hunt. But here's a look at some of those shelves and they did even have some manga that was an original Japanese print, which was pretty neat. Some ex-library books like I talked about some new manga, and then manga that's used but in good condition. This is all I got, but I'm definitely coming back. Gotta try my best to not spend too much money. I can do it. So aesthetically pleasing, oh my goodness. This is cute. I should continue reading this. Yes, the clearance section, let's save some coin. If they had volume one, I would 100% buy this. This looks so damn cute. This art style is gorgeous. Look at all the anime plushies. Oh my God, Gon's fucking hair. So happy that I spent $20 on two volumes, which I read in an hour. Seriously, read Idle Dreams. Creamy Mommy, throwback to 1980s Maho Shoujo excellency. What more can I say? Manga shopping. I want everything. Cute. There is so much. Here's the manga I bought this past month. Daddy Nero. One Piece. I'm scared. So wholesome. A out. No comment. She was hot, so I bought it. A lot of Genji Ito. Shelf update. My Genji Ito book. Wanna get them all eventually. Let's go to Barnes & Noble to look for some early releases. I didn't even know they sold Sailor Moon figures here. Interesting. Quick detour to look at the Studio Ghibli display, of course. All right, we've arrived at the manga section. No Blood on the Tracks, Volume 5, or Strawberry Fields, Volume 2. They do have Volume 7 of Hell's Paradise, though. Yes, they had Volume 8 of Toilet Bun Hanukkah-kun out a week early. But has anyone noticed how crusty the spines for Toilet Bun Hanukkah-kun always are? Is this just me, or is this happening to everyone else? Anyways, I'll put this here for now, and we'll call it a good shopping trip. Pulls help me choose what to buy with $20. EPL said it's so sad. I love it so far. First time I saw one, too. Heard it was super good. Friend recommended. Help. Don't be sad, go buy a new manga. 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 So today I decided to go on a bit of a road trip down to a comic store that sells $1 manga. All the manga they have are ex-library books and the condition widely varies, which is why all the manga is just a dollar. I spent a bit of time just looking through the boxes, seeing if they had anything I was collecting, and here's some of the footage. In the end, this is what I wound up with. I got the complete set for Marmalade Boy, only volume 1 has damage. The complete set of Kamikaze Kaito Jin by my favorite mangaka, I don't know if I pronounced their name right. I got volume 1 of Monster for free, the condition's alright. And then I also got volume 11 of Nana for free. Going to Amsterdam for manga shopping. Hank Comics. Waterstone. The American Book Center. Debating with myself if I should buy this or not. Taking a break. Naruto clothing. Home.
I decided to go to Books A Million this morning at 11 a.m. And of course the whole store is empty except for the manga section. But that's all right. Of course, there's another weekend coupon code and plenty of good finds. Since the last time I came here, there has definitely been a huge restock. Oh my goodness. It was weird seeing so many of these volumes together after so many months of them being out of stock. Even the Tokyo Ghoul box that's back in stock. After browsing for a bit, I left with everything that I was looking for, and here's the haul. I got Chainsaw Man Volume 2, finally got my hands on Strawberry Fields Once Again Volume 2, as well as BL Metamorphosis Volume 4. I got The Bride Was a Boy, which is a one-shot recommended by a lovely mutual, Made in Abyss Volume 9, and Shiver. Let's go on a Barnes & Noble run to look for some early manga releases. I didn't even know that Toilet Bound was getting a spin-off. This is so cute. One of these days, I'll start reading number six. Yes, they have Sasaki and Miyano. They're also restocking volume six for The Promised Neverland. All right, I only got two things at Barnes & Noble. Let's go on over to Geekster. Geekster is a small anime hobby shop. They sell things like t-shirts, cosplays, figures, prints, and more. I got a Tokyo Ghoul print. Even though I don't like read that much, I love these characters. And then, of course, I had to get a Promise Neverland print because I need more Yugo appreciation in my room. Let's go spend all of my money on manga. Picked up my order, now let's check out Panamextra. Today's find... Go Manga! Shopping! They were incredibly busy. But I managed to grab a few things. And see a few I'm thinking about getting. Now Anime March Shopping. much stationary cute HXH merch USH and Boba break hauls already up Let's shop for used manga. Manga shop with me. FT chilled. I just got here and it's actually so busy. I'm gonna scream! Walking in, I guess. 
People are in the aisle. No three and no one. Got the goods. Sixty dollars. Full metal alchemist. Lots of fruits basket. The cashier complimented my shirt. I was like, thanks, because I'm wearing my scout shirt. But I got one volume. I got something to volume six. And now I have seven dollars in my bank account. Mmm! This week was long and it was definitely time for a wind down, so come manga shopping with me. We'll go to Barnes & Noble and Newberry Comics. It's been so long since I've gotten to go to the Burlington Barnes & Noble, but I love their manga section. I'm so excited to start reading Spy Family. All right, next let's head over to Newberry Comics, which is in the mall across the street, and they always have a good manga section. We've got some Oran. I almost screamed when I saw volume 8 of The Promised Neverland. It has been sold out everywhere. I've been searching for two months, and now my collection is finally complete. Also had to get the first volume of Spy Family, but I don't have room on my shelf. I had to get a couple of Oran High School Host Club volumes for the shelf. Some Hori Mia volumes, and this is now one of my favorite series. And finally, my androgynous boyfriend. Come manga sh- Manga shopping. So much manga. CEO Today, Paul. Going manga shopping. So pretty, OMG. Season 3 lol. Wow wow. Volume 1 yay. Guys OMG. Pretty. Oh. Let's buy more manga. This time I know where I'm going. Today's haul. So a lot of people ask what Kinakinia is, and here it is. You walk in and you're in a whole new world. Their manga literally goes on forever, and they even have art books as well as the Japanese version of manga, which I think is amazing because you get to see the volumes that aren't even released in English yet. Like, look at Chainsaw Man. It's amazing. They also have art supplies as well as office supplies, plushies, and everything you can imagine. I could spend so much money here. And look at these new shelves with all this manga. It's insane how many like volumes of each they have. And oh my god, they had volume one of Hunter Hunter. I've been looking for this forever. And you guys saw there was a lot of Demon Slayer in the last time I posted a video from here. But I think there's even more now. It's insane. And they even have a little Studio Ghibli corner. Um, one of my favorite little corners, as well as they have a ton of figures. They never have figures that I really know, but oh my god, look at the Pikachu! It's freaking huge! Oh my god. And they even also have pins. <laughs>